That's good. That's all you gotta do. Okay, so welcome back. Um, more horseshoe projects. Uh, my wife's cousin and aunt and all of their family is down for Thanksgiving, so they went to play uh, turkey bingo at my daughter's old school. There was someone there selling these crosses uh, out of horseshoes, and they liked it. And I was, I, they ended up not getting it. It was a raffle um, for a door prize or whatever, but they really liked it. And so my wife was like, well, my husband just bought a bunch of horseshoes. So um, maybe he can make you one. So we went on uh, Pinterest and started looking around, and they, they found one that was similar, um, uh, that they li actually liked a little bit better. But basically, you cut the horseshoe, and you... you Cut it here into a triangle and then make the, the you know like the little fish symbol and then put it together uh the one that we saw is only five horseshoes so you yeah five i think so it's like uh i think two one on top one on bottom one on each side you make them into fish and so it's like five horseshoes but the wall that they want to put it on in their home is uh quite a bit bigger and it's not got a lot of stuff on it right now so they want something that's a lot larger. So I'm gonna try it with nine horseshoes and see how that comes out. Um, good thing about this is you can just cut them. Um, you're gonna cut them out and then make the, uh, you just basically draw a triangle on here, um, you know, with the point, find the center, make you a little triangle. It doesn't really matter how big the triangle is, that just means how much of the tail there is. So I'm gonna try to cut one or two to find out how big of a triangle I want and use that as a, a template. So you'll just cut all those out, make them, and then you can put it together and see how large you want. If I need a couple more, well, I've got a whole stack here and I've got some more in the van. Um, if not, the guy, I can go and get a few more for 50 cents each. So I'm gonna get these all cut with the triangles cleaned up, get the nails out just like normal. So I've got to do all that first, do the prep work. And um, you know, these nails come out pretty easy. I showed you that on the last video. So I'll get all those out and then I'll get my uh, triangles cut and then we'll go from there and see how it comes together. So stay tuned. Now you're just going to want to weld up all of your fish shapes um, and get those made. Then you'll lay them out in the shape of the cross uh, and get it lined up like you like before you weld them all together. So uh, just go in and tack up your fishes like this. Um, you know, you can just kind of adjust your triangle in the front here to be how much tail you want. Um, I think I'm just going to try to go on each one. I'm just gonna kind of line up the um, the groove there and make mine like this. So, but you can do you know something like that if you want, or just make your triangle bigger or smaller to make it you know ever how much you want. So, but I think I like this like that. So I'm gonna line this up here and then weld all these up together, and then I should have nine of them, and then I'll lay them out in the cross and tack it together. Okay, now I'm just gonna clean them up a little bit, 
and then we'll um, lay them out and decide how we want to arrange the cross shape. So pretty sure we're going to do four for the sides, two on each side, and five high. But I was also thinking that we might come in and put um, this as a centerpiece for it and then just branch off the two sides like that and then off the top. And then I could weld one, you know, dang, come on. Get one, you know, like this up in here or something, or maybe put two. I don't know, we're gonna lay it out and see what we want. And then we'll tack that up and weld it and it's pretty much done. At first I liked that, but now that I'm standing over it with, and looking at it through the camera, I don't really like having that uh, one horseshoe in the middle there. I think if it was maybe moved down to the sides or something, maybe that was higher. Um, I think what I'm gonna have to do is just cut one more fish because the proportion doesn't look right. Um, this, this looks right with the length. I think I just need one more fish out of that one and then I'll just basically replace that <clears throat> horseshoe with another fish shape and then that'll be good proportion and everything. So that's probably what I'm gonna do, but we'll see what they wanna do. They may, they may like it and uh, rearrange them and pick something else. All of those are welded, so now it's just a matter of uh, lining it up like you like and then you'll tack everything together and and weld the cross together so that it's one piece and then you're done. Yeah. That's good. That's all you gotta do.